For the last few months, I've been using the DJI Pocket 2. I really like watching tech reviews, but I am sometimes a bit skeptical, as I believe that when you spend your own money to buy the product that you are reviewing, you can see it in a different light. I wouldn't call this a review per se, but here are my quick thoughts on the DJI Pocket 2 Creator Combo from a consumer's point of view. I'll share what I like about it, what could be improved, and my favorite accessories. The DJI Pocket 2 is the second version of the DJI Pocket Camera series. Its main selling points are its tiny size, high quality videos, stabilized footage, time lapses and accessories that can take it from a camera you pull out to quickly catch a video of the baby walking for the first time, to a production behemoth, complete with wireless audio and so much more. Cell phones and action cameras have come a long way, but nothing beats a gimbal, and there is none smaller than the DJI Pocket 2. The Pocket 2 can shoot at various frame rates and resolutions, all the way up to 4K. You can power this little thing in 2 seconds, no waiting for boot screens or any kind of loading. Press the button and it's ready to shoot. Audio is a big deal and is often overlooked when it comes to making videos. Not only does this thing have multiple mics on the device that you can manipulate depending on what you are shooting, it also has wireless audio if you get the creator combo. This is by far the feature I have used the most. The time-lapse capabilities and options on this little thing are insane. The gimbal can be programmed to do some really creative motions while recording a time-lapse. The pocket in the name is not a marketing ploy. This thing is incredibly small and light, but still sturdy and doesn't feel cheap. Its small size and ergonomics make it unassuming unlike a giant DSLR or a cell phone. I think the wireless connection to the phone is unstable and unreliable half the time I use it. I also think the feature should be standard and not require an accessory. Why can't I connect this camera on my PC and use it as a webcam DJI? By far this is the thing I am most upset about and I thought this was just standard with any type of camera these days. With each firmware update, I keep hoping the ability will be added. Object tracking works, okay, but again so unreliable and jittery, even in great lighting. So many wasted takes to the point where I have just given up on using this feature for my vlogs and product shoots. My favorite accessories are a third party carrying case that allows me to neatly bring everything I got in the creator combo and more. The wireless mic I got in said combo is also unbelievably useful and high quality. The wireless control module can be a little finicky, but it's how I use the Pocket 2 95% of the time, which allows me to set up shots without worrying. Believe it or not, this simple clip is one of the best things I could have bought for this camera, and because of the Pocket 2 size, allows me to do things I could never do with bulkier cameras. There you have it, my thoughts on the DJI Pocket 2 from a consumer, the things I like, the things I don't, and my favorite accessories. I will link to a few of the videos I have uploaded to YouTube using this camera in the description below, and I have at least half a dozen projects in the pipeline I am excitedly working on. So hit like if you got value from this video, and subscribe for more.